Dr. Ann Peters is here now, oral abstract author of Pennywise Pound Foolish, Healthcare Costs in Medicare Patients with Type 2 Diabetes. And arguably, this is a real challenge right now. Healthcare costs versus trying to do what's best for your patients. Yes, as a clinician, I can tell you this is a constant battle as I try to get patients on the appropriate medications. And so what our abstract looks at is the cost in Medicare patients of their overall medical care pharmacy costs, and then the out-of-pocket costs the patients have and what their adherence to their medications is. And obviously, as we've seen, as the out-of-pocket costs go up for the patient, their adherence with medication falls. And this is a, a big issue because many of my patients simply can't afford the co-pays anymore, don't take their medicines, or have to change medications to drugs that frankly may not have worked for them in the past. So what can clinicians do about that? Are you altering the prescriptions to lower the out-of-pocket costs? How do you keep patients adhering to their medication regime so that they can be healthier? Well, there are so many parts to this equation. So first, as a physician, I have to speak with a patient and talk to them, have a dialogue, and get them to decide that they want to start a new drug, take a new shot, do whatever it is that I need them to do. Then I write the prescription, and then, uh, odds are I'm going to have to write for a prior authorization to try to cut the cost. That may take me a couple of hours to get, and then I might have to write another authorization to cut the copay cost. So I think that both patients as well as providers need to increasingly become advocates to get organizations, to get insurers to start really looking at what they're doing. If you keep increasing the cost to the patient, you're going to decrease adherence and increase the risk for complications. And this is really changing how medicine's practiced, at least where I practice, and in making it much harder to achieve successful outcomes. And in essence, that's it. It's the penny wise, pound foolish, because in the end, the healthcare costs will be so much more expensive if they're not taking their medication and not managing their diabetes. Yes, and I, I totally agree. It's so expensive. Some of my patients calculate the cost, for instance, in a year of having, say, type 1 diabetes, and they have good insurance, and yet their copay after copay after copay really adds up. And patients who can't afford that are really having a struggle. I have patients who actually have to decide between paying for food and paying for their medications. What do you tell somebody? So I really think this has to change, and I think we all need to be advocates to get changes in terms of the cost structure. You talk about physicians being advocates, but how do you think that they can really influence policy and perhaps encourage their patients to get involved as well? I believe that organizations such as the American Diabetes Association and the JDRF should be increasingly involved in patient advocacy. I think this should happen both at a local level, a state level, and at a national level. And we have to work at this because I'm telling you, all of us diabetologists are going to go out of the field and patients are going to be left without what they need. It takes so much time and energy now, so much more than ever, to be sure patients get the medications they need. And yet this is ironically at a time when I have more medications than I've ever had with which to successfully treat my patients. So that we've got to move somewhere here to make it more accessible and easier. I'm not the expert on policy, but I know we need to be advocates and we need to create change. Well, by beginning the conversation, I think you truly can affect change. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you.